fish tank, people. I think it's time to start talking about the 350 gallon aquarium. So you guys can see how big this thing actually is. What's up, fish tank people? Dawson's Fish Tanks talking about a fish tank. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a 350 gallon aquarium that has been in my garage since November of 2017, back when the aquatic experience was held in Chicago, not in New Jersey. Today's video is about fish. I'm gonna give you one, two, three, four, five options that I'm thinking about for this 350 gallon aquarium that is gonna go in Greenhouse 2.0 but I would love your feedback in the comments about these different fish options. Let me calm down a little bit. All right, so we set up the 900 gallon aquarium at the Newport Aquarium, and while I love that tank, I also hate that tank. The reason I love that tank is because I think it's one of the better hardscapes that I've ever done. However, the softscape, in my humble opinion, left a little something to be desired. I love all the comments on that. And if you haven't seen 900 gallon series, go ahead and click links around here and check that out. However, the 900 gallon aquarium was left in the hands of the Newport Aquarium. So in today's video, it's got my head reeling because I'm actually getting close on Greenhouse 2.0 with what I'm gonna do in an aquarium that I'm actually going to be around all the time and that people are gonna come and potentially see me with. We're gonna be talking about the 350 gallon aquarium today. I'm not gonna talk about the hardscape, the plants and that stuff, but I wanna talk about some of the stuff I'm thinking about with the fish in an aquarium that you all can come and see me and that I can actually work on myself. Okay, so where is this aquarium actually going to sit? This aquarium is actually going to sit, hopefully at the entranceway of Greenhouse 2.0. When you walk in, I want you to be greeted by something potentially. What could greet you? What fish would come up and actually greet people as they walked in? Let's talk about that. So the first of my five options of fish that I'm thinking about for a 350 gallon aquarium is goldfish. Yeah, goldfish. I already have koi. I'm thinking the fat wobbly kind, the one with the big eyes, maybe a black moor, a couple of ryukins, a couple of verandas. Here are the reasons that I would consider keeping goldfish. And I love your feedback, you goldfish people. I know you're out there. Goldfish are extremely hardy, okay? They're related to carp. Now, the ones that I wanna keep are a little bit fancier, so not quite as easy to keep as my beloved koi. Nevertheless, goldfish are hardy. They also could perpetually eat duckweed, which I would keep at the surface of the 350. I also like goldfish because they can handle a little bit lower temps, which we would see temperatures below 70 in the greenhouse, and I wouldn't really worry about keeping a heater with them. One thing that I've always wanted to do, and I don't ever think I've seen it done the way I'd like to do it, is a planted aquarium with goldfish, which also leads me to the downside of goldfish. Goldfish are like cows. They're just constantly grazing, constantly feeding. It's what they do, okay? So any sort of uh, aquascape, if you will, is constantly gonna be dug up, pulled apart, or ripped out. I also like to run dirt in my tanks. Goldfish digging down into the gravel and spitting it out as they perpetually roam around for food could be a problem. There's another rub with goldfish, and I think people get this wrong. There's an old adage, the old one inch of fish per gallon of water rule. That one inch of fish per gallon of water rule is actually out the window with goldfish because a one inch goldfish is gonna poop way more than like a one inch tetra or something like that. If anybody keeps goldfish, they know this. Goldfish are constantly eating, goldfish are constantly pooping. There's gonna be something called balance that I'm gonna have to work a little bit harder to get. This is a photo of my girl Mandy's tank up at Aquatic Wildlife in Connecticut, great wholesale customer of ours, and uh, she has goldfish, but she doesn't have quite enough plant load. I'd like to see, personally, if I can overcome the challenge of keeping big goldfish with a ridiculous amount of plants full sun, and keeping that whole thing balanced. Goldfish, one of my top five ideas for the 350. And the second option for the 350 in Greenhouse 2.0. Now look, I've already done these fish before. I miss them. Talk about rainbow fish, folks. Rainbow freaking fish, children of the morning sun. Oh my goodness, a 350 with rainbows. Now look, I did the 220 with rainbows and I loved it. Why rainbow fish, folks? Folks, rainbow fish are a fish you see in the pet store and they simply do not look that great because they take a little bit of time to color up. But if you give them time, good food, and big old water changes, rainbow fish will change your life. 
Okay, rainbow fish, big, hardy, but they don't get too big, all right? They get like about, you know, this big or whatever. So they're the perfect size for a 350. You get a school of them. I'm friends with Gary Lang. I'm friends with Luca Bress. I'm friends with all kinds of fish farms in Florida. I could get the most ridiculous rainbows ever, and I could have a school of them. Rainbow fish, you walk in, they go like little dogs. They swim right up to the front of the tank, greet you, ready for food. What are the other upsides to the rainbow fish? You could get a big school. Rainbow fish can be put together with other different varieties of rainbows. If you want to flow that way, I may just do all of one type of species. Rainbow fish breed easily. Rainbow fish can handle big water changes. And here is a huge and final upside with rainbow fish. Rainbow fish, my friends, would not mess up an aquascape should I choose to get my flow on in a 350. But now it's time to talk about the downside of keeping rainbow fish in a 350. Folks, there are absolutely zero downsides to keeping rainbow fish in a 350. Let's talk about another option. Folks, you gotta do things to get you out of your comfort zone. This is for all you cichlid people out there. What if your boy Dusty put frontosas in the 350 gallon aquarium? That's right, frontosas, think about that for a second. Big, giant Lake Tanganyika fish in there swimming around, staring you in the face. The upside with the frontosas, they get big, but they don't get too big. They've got that awesome purple, like, I mean, it's a purple zebrafish. I don't know what the good Lord was thinking when he did the purple zebrafish, but they're money. All right, cichlid people, I need you to drop me a note in the comments of what cichlids I'm missing that you would put in a 350. Cichlids are my game, drop me a note. I got another idea for the 350. You should get some bass, man. You got that big fish, you should get some big old bass, feed him some minnows, that'd be awesome. Big tank, big fish, no. I'm absolutely not gonna get a largemouth bass or any sort of giant native fish for this tank. What do you think, Brave? What should I get, should I get some neon tetras? Am I bothering you with my loud voice? Am I bothering you, dog? Sorry. Another idea for the 350. I haven't ever done it properly the way I would like to do it. Big tank needs big rocks. Big tank, small fish. How about 500 neons in a 350 gallon aquarium? Only Oliver cannot in my humble opinion, has done the neon tank properly. I think it would be awesome. The fish are cheap. The neons would school. It would be fantastic. The downside with neon tetras is this. They are a little bit finicky, and when they go, they all go. They all die, like boom, 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 boom. The upside of the neon tetras, however, is that they could be kept at slightly lower temperatures. They're cheap. I can get them from wholesalers, super cheap. I can slowly add them over time, and you walk in, and it's just a giant school of neons greeting you in Greenhouse 2.0. And yet another option for the 350 in Greenhouse 2.0, a fish I've never kept before. They're also a cichlid. I'm talking about discus. Oh my goodness. Big, round, beautiful, any color of the rainbow, easy to keep in a planet tank, schooling fish. Folks, you've seen my videos about this. There's no way I'm keeping discus fish. They're like the hot chick at the bar that you can't talk to. <laughs> Sarah, let's get out of here. Discus fish. There's no way I'm keeping discus in there. Too finicky. Gotta keep the temps right. I'm not gonna be able to control the temps good in the greenhouse. Discus are out. No chance. And my number one idea for fish for the 350 gallon aquarium. I like my wrap. I like my Wu-Tang. I like my old dirty How about old dirty Oscars? 350, can you imagine, folks? Oscar fish in your face, right when you walk in. Big old black Oscar grin. You, hey, oh, I'm an Oscar fish. Feed me, feed me, feed me. Oscars would be awesome. I could get in with some of the 500 crenum that I have coming in from Sierra Leone as you watch this video. Click the links around, check that stuff out. Yes, folks, Oscars would be fantastic. I don't know anyone doing Oscar fish with plants. I'd like to try it. I'd be up for the challenge. I could do big rockscape. I could do massive credit of tans all over the place with giant, big, goofy Oscars up in your face and up in your grill. Oscars in an aquascaped Africa style tank with the South American fish. I think Oscars would be the bomb in the 350. You know how many videos I've done where Oscars just were number one? Like, they, dude, they got, I mean, look at them though. I mean, they're bright orange, like, we, uh, we've been growing this guy out for almost two years now, and he's a, he's a stunner. They're just so, I mean, they just got so much I mean, chill and personality every, and color. Everybody loves Oscars once they have They're like having a, a true pet, you know what I'm saying, that interacts with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this fish is just giving it to us. Yeah. How long you had this fish again? Uh, this fish is uh, 
around two, probably going on three. You had it for two years? Yep. Where are you keeping them? In that steam room with all the yep, in all that right. greenhouse, yeah. Got you. Oh, does he stay in a vat or is he in, in a vat? He's a vat, yeah. What do you feed this boy? Just um, we got a, a carnivore diet that we feed him. Nice. Oh, he's, he's got feeders. The nice little spot on that back too. Yeah. Folks, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you've got an idea for a sweet set of fish for a 350 gallon aquarium. So do me a favor, drop me a note in the comments. Make sure you hit that notification button and that subscribe button if you like what we're doing. Everybody make it an awesome week and tank on. Later.